Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters, on Novena to St. Benedict, Day 5. St. Benedict is the patron saint of a wide variety of people and needs, including against poison, agriculture workers, civil engineers, the dying those afflicted with fever, those with gallstones, those with inflammatory diseases, those with kidney disease. Members of religious orders, monks, school children and spelunkers, cave explorers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the Holy Rules and Benedict, you have said, The second degree of humility is when a man loves not his own will, nor is pleased to fulfill his own desires, but by his deeds carries out that word of the Lord, which says, I came out not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. It is likewise, self-will has its punishment, but necessity wins the crown. The third degree of humility is that, for the love of God, a man subject himself to superior in all the obedience, imitating the Lord, of whom the Apostle says, He became obedient unto death. The fourth degree of humility is that, if hard and distasteful things are commanded, even though injuries are inflicted, he accepts them with patience and even temper, and not grow weary or give up, but hold out. As the scripture says, He that shall persevere to the end shall be saved. Glorious and benedict, sublime, model of virtue, pure vessel of God's grace, behold me humbly kneeling at your feet. I implore you in your loving kindness to pray for me before the throne of God. To you I have recourse in the dangers that daily surround me. Shield me against my selfishness and my indifference to God and to my neighbor. Inspire me to imitate you in all things. May your blessing be with me always, so that I may see and serve Christ in others and work for his kingdom. Graciously obtain from me, from God, whose those favors and graces which I need so much in the trials, miseries and afflictions of life. Your heart has was always full of love, compassion and mercy toward those who were afflicted or troubled in any way. You never dismissed without consolation and assistance anyone who had recourse to you. I therefore invoke your powerful intercession confident in the hope that you will hear my prayers and obtain for me the special grace and favor I earnestly implore. Mention your petitions. Help me, great Saint Benedict, to live and die as a faithful child of God, to run in the sweetness of his loving will, and to attain the eternal happiness of heaven. O Holy Father, Saint Benedict, pray for us. Amen.